All right, we are to May 2022, and you may have heard over the weekend, you are Ethereum mining. You got a nice little payout because uh, fees went up, rewards went out to miners. Uh, why was that? Well, it was because the ape people, the Bored Ape Metaverse, let's read it real quick. Oh, the Bored Ape Metaverse frenzy raises million, crashes Ethereum. Yeah, they did a they did a dump thing, or they did something. Yuga Labs, yeah, the creator of popular Bored Ape Shot Club collection of NFTs, launched a sale Saturday, a virtual land relative uh, related to its highly anticipated Metaverse project, raising about 320 schmackaroos worth of crypto in the largest offering of its kind. Demand was so strong that activity related to the event caused ripple effects across the entire Ethereum blockchain disrupting activity, and sending transaction fees soaring. Yeah, fees went really high again, like we were used to seeing at the end of last year. Uh, but now they're back to normal. So look at this. I mean, you can y'all can complain all you want, but look at these low gas fees right now. They're uh, what we were just seeing last week, the last month. I've been getting my Ethermine payouts from my Ethermine pool, my two miner pools, uh, paying out real quick, no delay. Before I had to wait forever because I set my gas limit, my payout fee at 40. I said, I'm not paying any more than I have to, even though the rewards pay me. I don't want to pay them myself. Come on. That's just not American. So enough with that crap. Yeah. So anyway, now people are all upset about it. And I think people now are realizing there's limitations to this Ethereum blockchain. And, uh, the ape guys are thinking, hey, maybe we got to get our own uh, blockchain, our own uh, network to handle the uh, scalability of this thing. Yeah, I don't know, man. With proof of stake coming, delayed, they're going to lose the miners supporting Ethereum. The proof of work guys like me are going to say later, I'm going where I'm going to make some money. Hasta la vista. And uh, I think Ethereum's going to really go to zero. I don't think there's going to be any support for this thing unless you maybe want to stake. But I don't know. Go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin's king. That's my attitude. Altcoins, yeah, whatever. You can spec mine. That's fine. But for me, I mine Ethereum because that's where I make the most profit. But I use two miners and I get paid out in Bitcoin because I am through with holding Ethereum. I don't want to pay all the fees. I'm thinking, God, now if I want to move it off my one wallet or an exchange to my wallet, fee, 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 fee. And it's just ridiculous. All the money I made mining is going to go to fees, even though the fees pay my mining. It's ridiculous. So it's the best approach i think mining right now mine ethereum till you can't mine it no longer max out your uh, gpus using the latest t-rex miner 0.25.12 take the payout in bitcoin and then if you need to move it flip it the litecoin but even bitcoin is not that the fees are really low i don't know i think ethereum the negative the negative the cons are out out of uh, way in any of the pros yeah so ethereum ponzi scheme or genuine opportunity Users wor wor worry, users worry, I can't even say that word, as gas fees skyrocket. But again, like I said, yeah, this article is from earlier today, but the gas fees are way down again. So it's kind of a knee-jerk article. But let's go through it. Ethereum is seeing an unmatched spike in inactivity. Inactivity. Oh, my God. Do you guys proofread this stuff? Ethereum is seeing an unmatched spike in activity from institutional adoption to rising tra uh, traction and whatnot. Uh, given the demand, Ethereum network participant raised 2.48 billion B in fees compared to 1.7 billion one year ago. So fees are king. Fees are king. Well, fees are paying the proof of work guys, minor. So that's good. I don't mind that, but I don't want to pay them myself. Get it? Uh, yeah. Anyway, are you happy now? Let's see. The uh, bullishness through 2022 resulted in a good spike in trading and transaction volumes as well as inflows from investors. All right, good enough. What led to this hike? I just mentioned it. ApeCoin owners got uh, other deed NFTs, which likewise led to more ETH getting burned. The signified, uh, this signified more demand. Ape owners had to send their cryptocurrency via the Ethereum network. Oh, I feel bad for them to the relevant smart contract and the network experienced a huge load during those hours. I feel bad for those guys because they, they're on Ethereum. They're going to pay these huge fees just to move their stuff. And I think that's what the point of this article is. People are fed up with it. As participants were eager to get their hands on a, another deed, NFT, it's real estate in the metaverse, I guess, right? They ended up in a gas war. Uh, this is getting weird, guys. This shot up transaction cost, earning Ethereum miners more than 87 billion, 87 million, sorry, in just an hour. Thank you. I don't mind that as a miner. I can see both sides of it. I'll take the rewards and I'll put them in my pocket. Woo! Anyway, 
consider this. They made 87, uh, what is that, million? I can't do public numbers with a, within a single hour. Indeed, they were happy with this revenue. Total minor revenue in the hour. Look at that. Look at that. That thing just spiked right up there. For context, in total, $172 million in additional transaction costs would have been paid during the gas war. At present time, East average gas price stood at 52 Oh, at press time, yeah, that's what I looked. Right now it's 68. Look at that. Uh, one more to another. The hiking gas fee uh, obviously would anger a certain chunk of the crowd. Following this event, ETH users paid a medium fee of 48.30 per transaction over a one-hour window. And there's some people tweeting their hate, tweeting their feelings, peeing out there tweeting away. And I don't care what people think on Twitter. I just Twitter's Twitter's awful. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you wrote it a terribly un unoptimized contract. Created a gas war, lied about Dutch auction mechanics to pump your own narrative and hit away, uh, hit how many wallets were eligible. Maybe get a Solidity Deb before you go around trying to create BSC 2.0. Ooh, Solidity Deb. Burn. Oh, I hate Twitter, man. You just got Twitter's AIDS. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, let's see. Like I said, uh, Ethereum is kind of a Ponzi scheme where the fees rise as less people are willing to validate and more people leave. It is a feed forward cycle only realized when the validators max out while remaining populations use validate more efficient coins like whatever that is. I don't know half of this crap. So yeah, people people ain't, ain't too happy right now. They're kind of consider and I think the uh, if you look at this Bored Ape guy, they're thinking maybe um, they need to, oh, look at that, damn pop-ups. They need to uh, they need to scale on a different network, and uh, Ethereum is questionable to a lot of people. This is almost a you know not a proof of stake test like they're going through now. They're stressing their uh, proof of stake merge. This is a real world test where people are trying to make some real money, financial freedom, get some money, buy some NFTs for God knows what reason. Apparently, people make money off NFTs. I don't get it. I'm not touching it. It reminds me of Crypto Kitties or BitConnect. And uh, not going to go there. <laughs> not go Minting a token or making a transaction on Ethereum requires token creators or traders to pay a fee to those that order transactions on the network. Transaction fees go higher when the network becomes congested. Given more fees are needed to prioritize a transaction, that can impact the Ethereum-based business of apps like Uniswap, effectively slowing the transaction uh, the transactions on the on these other platforms. So increased network activity congestion raises fees, which affects other businesses on the network. So not only is this a kind of a uh, spotlight on Ethereum, maybe the lack of scalability, people are realizing if I'm running my business on top of Ethereum, it may not be scalable. I may actually lose money having my applications, my stuff like Uniswap, all this NFT stuff on top of Ethereum may be not a wise business move. And I think people are getting a little nervous and they're talking about um, maybe getting their own network on. All right, so here is the tweet from Yuga Labs. They say, we are sorry for turning off the lights on Ethereum for a while because they brought down the Ethereum blockchain pretty much. Uh, it seems abundantly clear that ApeCoin will need to migrate to its own chain in order to properly scale. We like to encourage the DAO to start thinking in this direction. So anyway, yeah, you wrote a terribly unoptimized contract, created a gas war, lied about Dutch auction mechanics to pump your own narrative, and hid how many wallets were eligible. Maybe get a Solidity Dev before you go around trying to create BSC 2.0. So I don't know if that means they want a whole new network, their own blockchain, their own uh, non-Ethereum type thing. We'll, we'll have to see. I need clarification on that. But anyway, what do you think? We got a little war going on. The fees are back down, so it's much ado about nothing. If anything, the miners made a few extra bucks to help pay off their way overpriced GPUs and maybe get their ROI. But that's it. What do you guys think? What's up? What's going on? It's all it's all crazy times. Me, I'm mining Ethereum, so I can't mine it any longer. And like I said, it's all getting flipped to Bitcoin. All right, I'm out.